everyone, in this video I'll be talking about Angelman syndrome in terms of what it is, the different ways it is caused and inherited, some different symptoms associated with the disorder, and lastly, the overall significance of Angelman syndrome. Starting off with an overview of Angelman syndrome, it is a neurogenetic disorder that is found in one in every 15,000 babies. It was first discovered in 1965 by Dr. Harry Angelman. Due to the jerky movements and happy demeanor associated with the disorder, he called patients exhibiting these symptoms as puppet children. This name was later changed to Angelman syndrome. This disorder was discovered to be caused by a mutation in the UBE3A gene located at chromosome 15 at band Q12. This gene regulates the production of ubiquitin protein ligase E3A, which removes damaged or unnecessary proteins. This process is needed to allow for adaptive synapses, which is required for learning and memory. Overall, this chain of reactions prevents nervous system development, which is critical in everyday life. The four major types of cases that impact the UBE3A gene causing Angelman syndrome is a deletion in the maternal copy of the UBE3A gene, a mutation in the maternal copy of the UBE3A gene, paternal dysomy where a child receives two copies of their father's gene, an imprinting defect that impacts the gene associated with UBE3A gene activation. While some of these cases can be inherited, others cannot. A direct mutation in the UBE3A gene or the gene that controls UBE3A activation are the only two cases where Angelman syndrome can be inherited, while a mutation in the mother's UBE3A gene and paternal dysomy is not inherited. Angelman syndrome is associated with many different symptoms. Some of the symptoms include developmental delays, which can be physical, mental, and emotional, as well as speech impairments, which impact one's articulation, fluency, and voice. This disorder also impacts one's movement and balance by causing tremulous movement of limbs, unsteadiness, clumsiness, and jerky motions. Lastly, this disorder is associated with behavioral uniqueness, which includes frequent laughter and smiling, happy demeanor, and easy to excite. This disorder, while rare, could have a major impact on society if a cure was discovered. Angelman syndrome is quite similar to other disorders like autism and cerebral palsy. A breakthrough in treatment for any one of these disorders could be used to treat many other similar conditions. Any degree of treatment could be critical in empowering the independence patients with disorders like Angelman syndrome have by reducing the symptoms they experience. Lastly, any insight gained from the research being done with gene therapy and Angelman syndrome could positively impact and shed light into gene therapy use in the future for a wide range of companies. Since everyone is at risk for having some type of gene mutation, this research impacts and is relevant to us all.